Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Capricorn? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2021? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Capricorn. Let's get into it. Your first card here is the eight of cups so for some of you guys this is the general energy you're going to be experiencing in the month of december 2021 the eight of cups is walking away from a situation this is being enlightened or being able to see things clearly for what they are and making a decision from that your next energy here is the ace of wands so you're walking away from something that is no longer serving you, Capricorn. For some of you guys, this could indicate walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. Or being able to see a person or a situation clearly and concisely. And uh, making the decision to walk towards or choosing you. The Ace of Wands does indicate a burst of new energy, a new idea. Walking towards an uh, intense or passionate endeavor. This could also indicate walking away from a situation or a relationship or a connection that is no longer serving you and being able to embrace a new passion, a new interest, a new beginning. Let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the two of coins. So for some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be challenged in the sense of really it's about choosing you, Capricorn, for the month of December. Choosing you in every single aspect. Whether it's in your career, in your finances. Working and really putting effort and energy and people not appreciating that. It's time you start putting, um, start putting your foot down. This is, you know, they're calling you in to do overtime or to uh, do what you do best, which is to step up and do uh, the best or carry other people's burdens. This is you putting your foot down and saying, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm pulling my energy back. I'm going to clock in and clock out when I have to. I'm not doing overtime. I'm not becoming um, easy at picking other people's slacks anymore. This is about choosing you, your peace of mind, your value, because remember, a lot of the times, you know, Capricorns have a tendency of overdoing. And this comes natural to you. But what in turn does that mean? That means that other people may feel like you're easily or easily accessible. So it's like if someone, you know, slacks off, oh, we can call Capricorn. Capricorn can pick up the shift. Capricorn can fix this. Capricorn can talk to this person. Um, to find common ground and make it easier for you to communicate with them next time. All Capricorn can handle that. And the month of December spirit is telling you, no, Capricorn, you gotta, you got to make choices. And you have to learn to say no and you have to learn to choose yourself. For peace of mind, for mental health, and for physical health. The two of cups, sorry, the two of coins indicates exactly that, having the need to bring balance into your life. This is the having the power or knowing that you have the power to change any aspect of your life that you're not happy with. You're the one that is in control of that. But it's how you react and how you make certain decisions and how you react to certain situations that is going to either help you or hinder you. Your next card here is the Five of Cups. Having to make a choice that perhaps is not comfortable. 
Five of Cups is, you know, the realization of the lost or realizing that there was something lost in an effort of putting so much determination behind something for some of you guys with the Eight of Cups here. It's the realization that I need to walk away because this relationship, because this job, because this friendship is draining the fuck out of me. It's time I bring it back up and make it about myself. Yeah, it's going to be hurtful and it's going to be difficult and it's going to be painful. But it's going to be more painful to stick around and have your life sucked out of you. Whether it's because they're constantly challenging you, whether it's because they're constantly letting you down. But there is an elevation that's happening here, Capricorn, whether you're aware of it or not. Because I see you walking away from situations that no longer serve you. But with the Eight of Cups, it's like you're being illuminated to take that decision. Like enough waiting, enough is enough. And it's like knowing that you deserve to be treated better. Knowing that you deserve to be compensated at work for doing the job that 10 or 20 people can do. Or that it takes them to do. This is the realizing, you know what? If I if my boss doesn't give me the promotion or the incentive, I think it's time I start to speak up for myself. Because no one's going to take care of you better than yourself, Capricorn. And clearly you've shown that because you're the caretaker, right? You're the one that takes care, the provider of everyone. And it's engraved in you. That's your That's your nature. But there's also the understanding that, you know, are you speaking up when you have to? Are you letting people continue disrespecting or devaluing your worth, your work ethic, the energy and effort that you put in relationships? Your next card here is the High Sage. Powerful energy here. This is the understanding of cycles. This is the understanding that you are at this point in your life, Capricorn. After everything you've been through, you know exactly what it is that you want. Why do you keep settling for less? You know exactly what you bring to your company or to the business. Why are you settling for less? You know what you bring to relationships and what, not only what you bring to relationships, but what you're capable of doing because Capricorns are known for bringing out the best in people because of your worth ethic, because of the genuine being able to see the good in people. You always try to help them and try to, you know, take them to the next level. And this is the understanding that you're capable of doing that. A lot of people are not capable of doing that. It doesn't come natural that, to them as it comes natural to you. And this is something worth valuing. This is something worth having. And if the person that you're dealing with is not appreciating that, it's time that you pull back and let them know that fucking with you was a blessing. And this is in career, this is in finances, this is with relatives and friends that don't appreciate what you do for them. That don't appreciate that they call you at 3 in the morning and you answer. This is the knowing your power, Capricorn. Your next card here is the Six of Wands. The Nine of Swords. So there cannot be no victory without difficulties. There cannot be an elevation of Capricorn if Capricorn is not challenged. Why? Because you're ruled by Saturn. Saturn is a difficult planet. But you don't see it as difficult because that is your father planet. You were raised this way. That you have to work hard to make things happen. Nothing comes easy to Capricorns. And whenever someone sees a Capricorn and they see them doing or having, it's because they've earned it. But do you realize that, Capricorn? Do you understand that? Six of Wands is victory. This is the knowing of the power that you have to manifest or to unfold things the way you want them to. All you have to do is let your negative ideas 
or your pessimistic side <laughs> get the best of you. Nine of Swords is anxiety, it's stress, but it's, it's also ideas. And see, the easiest route to deal with this is whenever you see yourself going down this spiral of negativity or thinking negatively, try to take a step back and realize that those ideas is almost like you watching a movie and it is unfolding. It is not you. It is not who you are. It comes from past experiences and fears. Just acknowledge them and let go of, the, of that energy. Because if you sit there and you overthink about it and overanalyze, you're creating more momentum towards those negative ideas. Your next card here is the Four of Cups. So I see that you put effort and energy towards some type of connection and it didn't pan out or is not panning out the way you wanted it to at, at a certain point. Because the Eight of Cups also indicates you walking away. So it shows to me or speaks to me that someone's coming back around, perhaps trying to put effort, trying to put energy. Because they see, they see you shining with the Six of Wands. With the Sage. They know the power you have. But I feel like now you're doubting that connection or you're doubting their truthfulness, their honesty. You're doubting their intentions. And it's almost like you had the opportunity to have me, but now the Four of Cups shows up. Uh, I don't know if I want you. I'm not sure you deserve me. And the Eight of Cups is walking away from a situation, but you're walking away because you're walking to something greater, the Ace of Wands. So there's a realization that's happening here for you, Capricorn. I feel that the month of December is definitely going to be no bullshit for Capricorn month. <laughs> <laughs> you're done you're not putting effort where it's not appreciated this is empowering energy Capricorn because it shows that there's been growth in faith upon yourself like believing more in yourself and I feel that there's nothing greater than that ultimately that's what we come here for to understand and know that we are creators and the power that we possess to bring into our lives whatever it is that we want so this is a beautiful reading, Capricorn. I wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays to yours and to you. And um, we'll see each other soon. Bye.